And they're on cap with two fucking people. Oh! Dude! Oh! Hey guys, it's Slumming Rush. Today, I am platooning with a longtime platoon mate of mine. His name is Taitu. He's in the NA Clan G, which has like forever been one of the best NA clans on the server. Now, uh, <laughs> this is a first. I often will not platoon in videos, and I often will never play super heavies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the reasoning behind this. I have won... 33% of my games today, and as you can see, I've played 19 games if you looked at my session stats before the game started. So we've lost a shitload of games. I platooned with Tai 2 for six of them or so, and what we're doing is we're playing tanks that we think can basically win us games. So for example, I've chosen my VK because the VK you can take positions with and actually do well with, especially if you get the right map, and that's, that's how you win. It's like you take positions, you control things, do well. These are tanks that can do it. His E4 should be able to accomplish the same thing. It's basically a heavy tank. We're not playing lights because lights are impossible to win in in the current meta today. So um, we're on the map of Corellia. I'm going to go to the south just because that's where you'd want to take a super heavy. For me to cross anywhere in the north is going to get me killed for sure. So I'm basically forced in a tank this slow. I have no option. If I was in an E5, I could very easily go up to A2, but I'm not in that. I, that's not in the cards for a tank like this. So enemy team has two 261s, Manticore 13105. With their double 261s, I am not really going to be able to play where I normally like to on the side of the map, which is down here, because if I was doing that, I would probably get clicked. There might be a certain context in which I'm able to, especially if I'm able to poke on the right or the left side of the rock. Um, but for the most part, we're going to have to be really careful about their arty. So STRV gets lit, 13105 over here. Our mediums are pushing in. Now, this is not what you want on this side of the map. This is, generally speaking, the precursor to a loss because what will happen is as we push in, their heavies are going to haul, get hauled down right back in here. And we're bringing their arty into the fight. We're bringing their tank destroyers into the fight. So pushing through here into hull down tanks is probably going to lose us the game. Now, they have an E100 unspotted, so that might be good for us. I'm just going to push through right here on the super heavy. I might as well take the hits for the team. Now, STRV should be my first target. Yeah, shoots me, shoots me once, but whatever. That shot should go in. There you go. Light him on fire. So that's the first thousand damage. <laughs> so a couple games ago, Taidu got set on fire twice. So there we go. I'm going to push in. Um, I don't think strategically this makes the most sense, actually. What you're seeing here is our 113s filling back. So this push is what you would call asinine, and I'm still doing it anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive over to this position. We're losing the north, and this is crossing in front of 257 heavies. I actually think I can get away with it. I'm just going to shoot on the move, and by now I should be hauled down. So this position should allow me to fight the 5A. It's going to let Artie kill me, but you can see the Manticore will be buying me sometime against the Artie fight right here. And with the Super Conqueror here, I need to kill this guy. So I'm going to take the shot the second I'm loaded, and I'm going to keep heat loaded, because soon I'm going to be fighting 57 heavies and shit. So that shot goes in, does basically zero damage. <laughs> what the hell? Um, we're just going to reload. And you can see they're falling back, and that's going to let them get hauled down right here. So pushing in, in my experience, is not good, especially... Shouldn't have healed that, I'm just going to get clicked again. Especially since 261 is going to farm us. I really don't think this is a good push when we're losing the north, or we might lose the... Yeah, we're going to lose the north. This is not a good push. So I'm just not going to kill myself here. I'm going to try to get an angle on this guy. If I have to shoot HE, I absolutely will. Okay, I'd rather shoot at the T57 here. HE's my next shell, of course. And we're going to put a shot out into this guy. So that shot goes in. Perfect. Already shoots at me. So we haven't lost enough HP to justify running away yet. But you can see, like, the C5 is going to die. Leopard 1 is going to get clicked maybe instead of myself. We'll see if the Artie has XVM or not. But basically, we're going to wait for the shot in the 705. And then from here, we might have to go back to base. So I'll take the shot. And I'm just communicating with my platoon mate. So I'm going to start turning my tank around. This thing is slow as balls. So he's moving to J7. What does that mean? Might have been a misclick or something like that. I've got the HE shell. I won't hit this guy's lower plate. So HE is just going to go right into his turret. And here you go. So I'm making an easy target for Artie. But you can see my team is losing as they're pushing in. So if they're dying making this play, I'm going to support them. Leopard 1 just killed the Leopard 1. So you know there's a Leopard 1 supporting these guys. I'm going to take one more shot on this uh, 705A. Hopefully it high rolls or something. Okay, and it definitely does not high roll. 261 shoots my gun. I am just trying to time this. Do I have to go back yet, or can I get one more shot type of thing? So I think I'll go for one more shot. My gun's damaged. Okay, we're going to fully aim this one here. 
I would expect that leopard one to get spotted. Okay, shot goes in, not really worth it. I'm gonna repair the gun and we're gonna start heading back. I've got heat loaded for whatever's pushing into our base and I am not as immobile as people tend to believe. So here we are. This is effectively a carries-like ish situation. They should have a full HP E100 in their base or very high HP E100. And what's gonna happen is we're in a situation where we have to defend the cap. Now, Titus is Titus in a really good spot. Um, I'm lagging behind. That's because I wanted to help the team against the 705. What I would expect so I saw the Leopard 1 kill their Leopard 1. I would expect this guy to be coming up the mid, trying to push into our south, something like this. Um, and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to watch the map for that. Now, already's moving. That's a great call. Um, that's a Manticore. Do I have shots? Yeah, I should. So I'm going to fully aim this. He's tracked. He does repair it. I'm going to take the shot. doesn't go in. I was aimed really well. If, if the shot had gone where I was aiming, it would go in. Leopard 1 is spotted. So there you go. Now Manticore dies. Great shot by Tai 2. We just lost our T92. And I might get clipped out by something as I cross, but this is my fault. Like, I just have to make this play, really. Um, there might be an opening. So in this type of situation, you might consider flanking this 1-2-1, T57, and Super Conqueror. They're going to be on this ramp right now. I think that's a decent call normally if they don't have two Arties and a Leopard 1 in their base. That's just inviting the Leopard 1 to push up the field and flank you. So I'm not going to make that play. Now, what I might do is I might try something higher up. Yeah, see that timing? This thing is so slow. Um, I just want to help Tai 2. Even if my 1-2-1 one, one dies, I think it's worth it. So I'm going to just take this position. If we kill their 57 Super Conqueror, I think pushing the north might be a decent play or something like that. I see the Leopard 1s to our left. So what I'm going to do is with the Leopard 1s positioning, if he kills the 1-2-1, one, one, I'm going to be in the open. I'm going to ask my teammates to hang on. Basically, what I'm saying is, hang on, the 1-2-1's one, doing fine against the Leopard 1, so we're in no rush about that. I've got all the HP, I've got all the armor, let me push in, I'll take the hit. If we kill these guys, we should be able to win the game because, you know, 113's full and so on and so forth. So, I'm going to push in, I'm going to side scrape off of this rock, I'll take all the hits for Tai 2. I don't think he should flank, but he sees that E100 way before I did, so... Does he make this shot? Okay. Yeah, there you go. So E100 is pushing up the mid like I called. We have to push these guys here. If we don't, we're going to fucking lose. So... It sounds like one, two, three, four. Okay, Super Conqueror has to die first. Okay, so what I'm hoping here is that the 113 kills the Super Conqueror. God, my teammates... Super Conqueror missed. I'm gonna have to. Okay, now Taidu's being stared at by the 57 Heavy, so I'm actually gonna face hug because I don't want my teammate getting shot. So I'm just gonna do this, ram the guy. He's shooting heat, so APC or whatever. Oh yeah, it's heat, that's what I thought. And so he shouldn't, he should be able to pen me really, but as long as I can take the hits from my teammates, that's great. Get the kill, perfect. Now from here, we have to turn around, deal with the Leopard and E100. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> well, that guy's a one shot. I can just lead once again. So the thing is, in a lot of situations when you're full HP like this, you think it's very easy to win. If the E100 and Leopard 1 pen me and then I get clicked twice, they can still win. You know what I mean? So especially if the Leopard 1 gets away. So what I have to do is I have to engage them in such a way that I don't get clicked twice and I don't get penned because it's not worth the risk, especially in a tank this slow if the Leopard 1 gets away. The 261 will shoot us as we push into the... There's a whole host of reasons to be careful here. So I'm going to push in. And I have enough view range to probably spot that E100 if he's close. Okay, and because I haven't spotted him, I'm going to be pushing this side of the map. Now, the 113's running. I can still win this fight without the 113. Um, he's a one-shot. How do you want to play this? Oh, okay. That makes things easy. So we spot the E100. Should have a shot in his lower plate. He's baiting me clearly into someone so i'm going to be careful about this i don't want to get shot by the leopard as i play here the 113 it would be great if he just went and killed Artie. tidy's flanking both already fired okay and i suspect this leopard one is actually on oh there he is okay so i'm gonna put the shot into the 100 that one doesn't go in tidy should kill the leopard which is great the shot bounces well i bounced that e100 he didn't pen me taidu must not have a shot on the leopard taidu kills the e100 okay and from here this leopard can't really go anywhere unless he runs so that's his best play what i'm going to do is i'm going to camp him 
Does Taitu need a hand? Yeah, he does. Okay, so I'm gonna push in actually, not camp. 261 kills Taitu. Okay. And we're just gonna hope this one goes in. So I'm gonna fully aim. Pens his gun. Okay, so I have to push in here. The 113 is going to kill already. I've got HE, probably don't need it. Six one killed me. The two six one is here. Okay, so really, I just have to push into this guy and try to stay already safe with my HE and then AP shell. I should be able to kill him with either or. HE is actually probably the better call here. It will definitely do 100 damage to him. If I were him, I would be falling back all the way to help already if I thought the 113 was flanking. That guy hasn't been spotted, so if the Leopard 1's a great player, he will guess the 113 is going to kill already, and I'm just going to drive in full speed trying to uh, avoid this. No. Dude, no! Why did the 261 die? Are you kidding? Shit. Okay, so... Pfft, not the the one thirteen died. Okay, so I have no options here. Um, I have to drive up like this to try to spot this leopard, and the leopard's best play is to cap. I think. I think if I was the leopard, I would just try to cap out and bait me into the cap, so I died already. That that would be the best play for him to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up here, and I'm gonna try to spot him. If he's gone back to base, he'll go up the mid. And um, maybe I can spot that as it happens. Now, it's very possible I'm way too late and there's not much I can do in this situation. Um, so, we'll see if I light something. If I was the Leo, I might have hit up here as well. So, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Now, I wonder if he's as smart as I'm making him out to be. You know? How do you deal with this? So if I was a 261, will I have moved? Probably not. 261 drivers don't use their mobility. Okay, so that shot didn't go in. I really think that Leopard 1's going to be capping or pushing into our base. He's got all the mobility. So what I'm going to do, do I take the gamble and assume he's going back? He's 100 HP. There's no way he's going to do that. So what I'm thinking is that Leopard 1's 100 HP. He may not risk capping. He would have done it by now if he was going to, in my opinion. So I'm going to cross this field. Oh, and they're in cap with two fucking people. Oh, dude! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, um, that saves the game. We're gonna push in. Hopefully the second 261. <laughs> oh no. Will I get back in time? Uh, will I get a shot? I don't think so. Yep, if I don't have a shot here, there's no way in hell I'm getting this one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was the best blind shot of my life. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Fucking wild. All right, so that was 5,200 damage. <laughs> oh my god, RNG. <laughs> High caliber, 6,000 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> mastery badge, second class. Of course, that's not a mastery badge. That was a loss and... <laughs> Jesus. All right, so that's the game. I'm going to call the video here. I had a blast with that one. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to the like and the subscribe button. Can you believe that shit? That was wild. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next one.